Hello, YouTube. Um, here we are on uh, uh, K Barnes' uh, podcast, Into the Artist, with Canadian Montrealer um, Sarita, who who is a photographer, and her photographer name, if you will, is uh, Sarita Stethoscope Photography. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. Uh, no problem at all. So, Sarita, so to tell us. Us, I mean, I mean the listeners, hence your fans, and um, so tell us a bit about you. Like, you know, are, are you are you in school or working? What, what what's up with um, Sarita? Uh, well, I work full time. I graduated last year in tourism. Um, I do karate and take pictures. It's pretty much all I do. <laughs> I'm not that cool. Okay. I listen to a lot of music. A I mean, lot. Okay, that's uh, good to hear. Okay, um, moving on. Uh, so can you g give us the story behind uh, why Stethoscope? You know, that's quite an interesting name. Well, <laughs> it started off with my friend Brianna. Everybody makes fun of me and calls me an awkward little scene kid, which is probably true, but um, we were... <laughs> Like, we were just saying, you know, if we were to have scene kid names, you know, like Maddie Massacre and Tashi Terror, and we were just coming up with goofy words, and I called her Brianna Heartbeat, and she's like, Sarita Stethoscope, and then it just kind of stuck. <laughs> it's just a goofball, you know, me and my best friend fooling around kind of thing, but <laughs> I don't know. It's... So you're... Photography, I would imagine, has nothing to do with the um, medical instrument uh, stethoscope, right? Not at all. <laughs> Not okay. at all. Okay. I mean, actually, if we can look at, if you want to look at it deeper, I guess a stethoscope is an instrument to listen, and a lot of my photography is around music. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never. Well, I never really thought of it that way. Okay. Me either, until you said medical field and then I was like well <laughs> okay uh, next question so what what inspired you to um, you know uh, start photography like to pursue it or just in general well in general like what made you want to do it in the beginning um well I I started going to concerts in 2008 um, and I don't know, my first few concerts was with my cell phone, and then my I started stealing my sister's camera. <laughs> well, not really stealing it, she gave me permission, but... Um, and I was taking pictures, and some of the shots came out pretty cool, but it was just like a regular camera. And then for Christmas, um, my parents bought me my own so I could give her back hers. And then, I don't know, I just, I was actually like looking at my pictures, and... There was a couple of really good shots, and I'm the kind of kid that I'll stand outside for hours waiting for a concert so I can be in front. So my pictures would, like, come out really clear. I wouldn't need much zoom and stuff. And then um, in 2010, I met Modern Day Escape, which I had been waiting for them to come to Canada for forever. I waited, like, two and a half years, I think. And then the only Canadian date that they made it to was in Montreal, and I was hanging out with them after, and their ex-guitarist, uh, Bagel, was asking me if he can look through my pictures. And he went through my pictures and was like, why are you not doing this for real? Like, why is, why do you only have a little Kodak Easy Share? And why aren't you, you know, why don't you invest in a real camera? And then I was like, I don't know, I'm not really that good. And then he's like, have you seen your stuff? And he just, you know gave me his little speech and two years later I managed to save up enough to buy my first uh, digital SLR and it's been picking up ever since I guess <laughs> okay wow that's uh, that's very grand of him to inspire you to tell you oh my you're so great at what you do that's wonderful okay um, hey, he's pretty cool I've known him for like I was talking to him before they came here, so okay. I I knew him from beforehand, and then just to finally, you know, meet my friends. 
Also, I, I have another question. Were you also um, inspired by other photographers, or, or was it just from that one experience? No, well, I as I started to get into Escape the Fate, um, which is one of my favorite bands, um, I noticed a lot of their pictures were taken by Anne Ferguson. She's a photographer in New York, and I love her work. Like she's she's amazing, and I kind of just started fooling around with Photoshop and everything, and um, you know, just it, a lot of my inspiration comes from her. And then I ended up now I'm working with her. You know, like she helps me with everything. She, I call her my Mama Anne because she's like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you do this and don't do that. And, you know, she's nagging at me oh. <laughs> through text messages and phone calls and Facebook and, and you know. Yeah, well, that's what mothers are for. Yeah, she's my inspiration in this, I think. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, my next question is, it's more of a, a technical question. Um, could you tell us exactly what equipment do you use when conducting photography? Um, I seriously, like, just started. I have my Kodak Easy Share XSI, and I only have two lenses. I have, like, a 35 millimeter, and I just got a new one, and I don't remember what size it is. It's, uh, 75, so those are the only two that I have right now, but like I said, I'm building it up. I got my tripod for my birthday because my parents love me. I think it's because they see... Like, I'm, I've always been the type of kid that, like, I'll get into something, but I get bored of it. And photography something that I haven't let go, and they saw how hard I worked for it. So I think that they kind of, like, push me in it. In, not in a negative way, but they're behind me in it, you know? Okay, thank you. Um, I have a, my next question is... What advice uh, would you give to someone, you know, for someone, that, for someone that's starting out? Well, just don't give up. I mean, it's it's a lot of work because I never went to school in it, and like everything I learn, I either learn from Anne or from watching YouTube videos, which I don't have the attention span to do. I'm not even gonna lie, um, or you know, reading up on it, don't give up. It's something that you like. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be photography, music, karate, anything, anything, martial arts in general, school, medicine, whatever it is. Just don't give up on it and do what you think is right, not what other people are telling you is right because so many people are telling me to go to school in this, you know, and I'd learn everything about it. But the thing is, is that I'd rather figure it out on my own because I don't like sitting at a desk for an hour and a half having someone talk at me. I'm more hands-on, you know. So, I mean, if school's your thing, do it. I'm not telling you not to do school, and I should probably be encouraging people to go to school. But at the same time, if it's not your thing, you can't waste your time because that's what it is. If you're not into it, you're wasting your time. Do it the way you feel is best. Okay. And don't be shy. Because when I first messaged Anne to ask her for help to get my first show, I was 